Hello, hello. Welcome to the Mum and Hustle YouTube channel. I'm Melissa from mumandhustle.com. Today's video, I'm sharing with you a really simple and fun DIY advent calendar for kids. The holidays are almost here, and I don't know about you, but I love doing these extra little touches for the kids around the holidays. They just love it so much, and it's something they look forward to every year. So I'm gonna share it in the next few minutes of this video, how I put it together, and the things you will need. The past couple of years, I have done a DIY kind of inspired advent calendar for the kids. They've really enjoyed it, so I continue to do it every year. I'm gonna share really quickly in this video the things that I buy in order to make it possible and how I kind of go about putting it all together. The main things you'll need in the very beginning for the actual advent calendar itself, you'll need some type of um, like clothes pins or something to attach the bags to, and these are where I put the little treats in. So something like this where you have a cord with it too or you can buy the cord separately. It all kind of depends on where you want to hang your advent calendar. So I ended up picking everything up here at Dollarama and these are actually cute because they came with the rope itself as well as the little clothes pins that I'm going to need. And then I got two of these because they only come in packs of 20 but obviously you want 24 or 25 bags however many you're going to use. So I have two of those. And then I got this little uh, paper pad because I like to mix the calendar with actual physical things and then as well as experiences too. It just kind of eliminates way too much junk coming into the house really before the holidays. So I got this and then you'll also need a couple pens or markers or whatever you want to actually write your numbers on here, the days of the month and your experience cards too. So in order to not have, like I mentioned, just buying a bunch of random junk to put into these bags for my kids or buying things just to buy things, I like to mix it up with usually about 10 experiences or 10 activities or something that we're going to be doing anyways throughout the holidays. And it just ends up being something really fun for the kids to look forward to. So every day when they go to open up one of the bags they don't know whether it's going to be like a physical item or something that we get to do fun that day so these are what i have done i always do like a kick off to christmas bag for the kids so i have that for december 1st something like send out christmas cards let's go see the magic of lights this is something um, in our area that gets put on every year so again we'd be doing this anyway so i might as well have it a part of the calendar it's food drive day, let's give back this holiday season. We always pick one thing for the kids to do, um, whether it's an angel tree or toy donation or whatever, but this year we're gonna be doing a food drive. Tonight, let's go for a fun drive and look at Christmas lights. Let's have a Christmas movie marathon, popcorn, anyone. It's gingerbread house making day. Let's write our letters to Santa. It's wear our Christmas sweater day. It's time to write our Christmas cards to our teachers and get their gifts ready. And the last one, it's Christmas Eve, kids. Don't forget to put out milk and cookies for Santa. So again, these are things we'd be doing anyways, so I might as well incorporate it, in, it into the calendar and that way there's some fun experiences mixed in with the other things that they'll be getting. Also note that these types of experiences too I'll also put them on a day or time of the week that's obviously fitting so like if the kids are going to school that day we're not going to start the day off by making gingerbread houses so I will put that on a day of the month where I know that it's a weekend and we'll have time to do that these are the actual items that I got for this year's advent calendars. 
I always have a little um, like a plastic container that would keep leftovers of things like this. So like for instance, this I've repurchased again this year because I had this same set for the last two or three years that we've done this. Obviously, like I only have three kids, so I didn't need to use all of them. So I just keep reusing or not reusing. I shouldn't say that, but I keep like if I bought this, right, I would use the rest of the pencils in this year's that were left over from last year. So I'm not having to keep uh, buying new things year after year, but this is our third or fourth Christmas doing this. So I did have to repurchase some things this year and I'll just show you quickly what I got. Uh, this ornament painting set, I will take these out of here individually and put them into the bags. And one day they'll get just these fun little jingle bracelets. Uh, mini notepads, Christmas rings, this Christmas uh, wood set that they can uh, color, these little ugly sweater patches that I thought it'd be cute to put on they could wear one day, these nail stickers. Again, I just bought one pack and I'll cut them up into three and each kid will get their own. These hanging ornaments that they can make, Christmas pencils, some modeling clay, just some kind of crafty thing they can have fun with. And then one of our things one day will be to make Christmas cookies. So when they open this up, there's one for each of them and they'll know that, hey, we're gonna make Christmas cookies today. And then one day is just, um, just a little chocolate for each of them that they'll open up. Again, it doesn't have to be anything super expensive or elaborate. These are just fun things that I would usually do for them anyways. So just to incorporate it in the advent calendar just makes it for a really, really fun December. And every day they wake up and they don't know whether they're going to be getting something like this or one of the experience cards. I just love putting it together for them. Right now, I'm just numbering all of the little bags that I bought. The only thing I would do differently next time is I would put the numbers a little bit lower because when I do fold over the top, it kind of cuts off what you can see when they're actually hung on the wall. But I just chose red and green and I alternated numbers and put them all together and I did one to 24. The last step is to put everything into their corresponding bags. A little tip I'll share with you is I always get out my December calendar and that way I can see what dates fall on the weekend because I like to do more of the bigger activities on a weekend. Something like make gingerbread houses or when they're off school for the holidays. I just wouldn't want them to open up something like that on a school day and get all excited to make gingerbread houses only to realize they have to get on the bus and we can't do it until later. So I like to do them, do those types of activities on days where we're actually going to be home. Also, it just allows you to look at your upcoming calendar to see what's actually going on and whether you can indeed do that activity on a certain day you have planned if it's an experience card and you're not actually gone for that day. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. And now we are just hanging them up on the wall. As you can see, there's a command hook at the very top and I've just put the string and the clothespins there. And then I attach every bag to each clothespin. If you want, you can add a couple, you know, little ribbons or stickers 
whatever you'd like. I've just added a few bows just to kind of make it a little bit more Christmassy. But there you have it, super simple. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you back here next week. Have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song.